Well, this is Mickey Hinckley for 6040, and there you have it. But to gain a further insight into this man's twisted view of TV journalism, we dug back. We dug back to his roots, to 1975. For more on that story, here's Rex. Rex? Federal mediators say Anheuser-Busch and striking Teamsters have reached a tentative contract agreement which must be ratified by 8,000 brewery workers. But the pact does not resolve the issue of back-to-work amnesty for some workers charged with violence on the picket lines. That issue will be discussed Monday at a top-level meeting in Washington. Thank you, Rex. Running for the presidency isn't a cheap affair. Abraham Lincoln would have never made it in these days. The Federal Election Commission financial reports show Ronald Reagan to be the contender, spending the most money so far. He has spent nearly nine and one half million dollars trying to win the 1976 GOP presidential nomination. President Ford has spent about $8,800,000. The Ford campaign has cut back in its staff so it can avoid exceeding the legal limit of $13 million set on primary campaign spending. In a related matter, both Ralph Nader and Ronald Reagan are complaining that the Ford campaign is not paying for political appearances by Secretary of State Henry Kissinger. There is a violation of the election law, according to Nader and Reagan. The news directors of the president's campaign says Kissinger has not made any political speeches, but has spoken only on foreign policy. Do the weather later, Rex. Ronald Reagan hopes to beat the president. <laughs>